Yeah, hello everybody, I want to show you this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Yeah, so the first feature I want to show you is uh, if you have made two WhatsApp accounts or two Facebook accounts, uh, then there's an opportunity here to clone an app. And uh, for that, we go to the settings, then we go on advanced features, and then we scroll down to the point dual messenger, and here will you have, will have a list of all the apps which one are supported for that feature may let us clone WhatsApp, go on install, and my Facebook as well, go on install. And now I would have two Facebook accounts and WhatsApp accounts. Let us check it. Here are my second accounts. So here's the first WhatsApp, here's the second WhatsApp, and Facebook, here's the first one, here's the second one. So it works. So if you want to uninstall it, so just go on the app you want to uninstall, hold it until you see that uh, a bar here and then go on uninstall, uninstall and the second WhatsApp has disappeared. The first one is still there. Okay, the second feature, uh, also the second way to remove that second app, if you could just go to the advanced features and to the dual messenger again in the settings and you go just on disable. And now I have just one account again, and the first account stays with all the data and so on and so on. So the second feature I want to show you uh, is about pictures. If you want to shoot a picture with the camera, you have to enter the camera first, but there is a quick launch for the camera. If you double tap the power button, you are immediately in the camera. Let me show you one more time. Double tap the power button and you are immediately in the camera and waste and don't waste time. Yeah, another nice feature is if you want to listen music uh, with your friend together with Bluetooth headphones, then uh, there's an opportunity to connect two Bluetooth phones or sound boxes at the same time. So for that, let us go to the settings again. Now we go on the point connections, then the point Bluetooth, and then we have here the three points on the corner, then we go on advanced, and here we have the point dual audio. If we tap it, you will see here I can connect two Bluetooth devices, two different ones, and here you can enable it and you are able to connect them. And also nice is that uh, everybody can regulate the volume by his own. Okay. Okay, another nice feature is the one-handed mode because the phone is very big and uh, also my hands are very large but I cannot reach all the screen but there's an, uh, uh, a feature which one allows you to have the uh, to have a mini screen. If you just scroll down from the corner to the middle of the screen, you have here now the opportunity with the mini screen and I reach now everything with my thumb and if I want to remove it, I just tap here and if I'm uh, left-handed, I just uh, go from the corner of the other side to the middle of the screen and now I can reach everything with my left hand as well. And as I told you to exit, go on the side here and we are back in the regular mode. Okay, let me show you how you can enable it. Just go here to the settings again, then let's go to the advanced features and here we have already the one-handed mode and you have to enable it. If you enter that mode, you have Again, some instructions here, how it works. Otherwise, uh, next click is just you have also the button mode. If you tap for three times uh, on the home button, you have also the mini screen. And so another nice feature is to take a screenshot with the phone. It's also possible uh, for that you need the power button and the volume down button. If you press it for the same time, you will have a screenshot. And after also you are able to crop a part of the picture and so on. Maybe if you would just want to have a picture of the website and so on and so on and you can share it or directly save it in your gallery. Um, so there's another way to uh, capture the screen. If you go with, your, with the edge of your hand, slide across the screen and you have a screenshot as well. It doesn't work all the time, but it's a bit, uh, it needs a bit of training over time. And uh, yeah, it works also. Uh, sometimes you have to enable it. You're doing it at the settings, at the advanced, feature, at the advanced features, and then you need to point um, palm, palm swipe to capture, it has to be enabled. And of course there's also a way to take a screenshot with your pen. If you're going to pen to the control center and go on screen right, uh, you can shoot 
a screenshot and now you can also make some notice in it and uh, after just go and save and that's it okay and of course you can do some more with your pen if you're going here in the control center again you can smart select just a part of the screen maybe if you just want to mark that app here go with my um, pen like this and uh, yeah then it just go and save and it just save that part and yeah after you find your screenshots at the gallery and here are my screenshots and the one i did with the pen and you can work out the screen as well but it doesn't work also with all the apps so this feature just works with games um, so let's go to a game made like subway surfer and uh, during the game you just up the navigation bar and then you go on that tool here and uh, now you are able to record the screen here on the side so go on record so then the game is recording now like I'm boom boom I'm not very talented and uh, yeah if you want to stop it just up the bar again and go here on stop okay and same thing you will find it after at the gallery no? and it has also its own category at the albums so to work out the screen uh, just like that so there's also an opportunity to do it regularly with the control center but it's just something for 15 seconds but i think it's okay so just go with the pen on the control center go down on smart select and uh, now you choose here that gif animation so then you choose the place what you want to record and then after you go you just go and record and record that screen um, you have selected before yeah go and stop or as i said it works for maximum 15 seconds and after you are directly able to share it uh, to draw on site or to go to send it directly and the original to the gallery and you will find it of course in the gallery as the other ones before yeah let's come to the next point it's the feature for multi window so if you go on the recent tabs here you have here the opportunity uh, to go on the multi window feature next to the X and uh, let's take the, um, the settings so now I can go on the settings and work as well in my gallery and uh, yeah if i tap now it, the little bar in the middle uh, i have also the opportunity to change it you know, that the settings are up and the gallery is down and i have also the, uh, the opportunity to work with picture in picture that i'm here now in the gallery and i have now that uh, sorry i'm in the settings and i have that gallery part here um, just as picture in picture okay if i want to close it just go on the x as you can imagine and then it's gone yeah, let's come to the next point it is a point especially for the night uh, or for your eyes in the night because uh, if you are using your smartphones your eyes uh, are not so tired anymore they are more awake and uh, if you don't want to have problems to sleep in uh, activate the blue light filter so it's already part here in that phone so go to the shortcuts now then here feel the blue light filter and as you can see the phone uh, will reduce the blue light and you have a different uh, screen um, temperature here uh, for the first time it is a bit unusual but uh, trust me it will become used for okay then just you go on the written word below that symbol so blue light filter and you have the opportunity to select the opacity to make it uh, to reduce the blue light much much more uh, or to give back a bit blue light and so on and so on and on details you are able also to schedule a time so you can choose from sunset to sunrise or you can custom also a scheduled time maybe a starting time here from 7 p.m or 19 or 19 o'clock and you can set up also an end time so it means that uh, you don't have to think about all the night so it turns on automatically and it turns off automatically so may that feature will help you to sleep in better uh, you can let me know in the comments if it helps with you and uh, 
Yeah, so I hope you will not go to bed now because we come to the last point and it's a very nice point. So for that we need the camera. And uh, so and we need here that Bixby mode is that point here, that I. And uh, if we go now here on the, you have a translator included if you are here on the text. Uh, if you go like that, you will recognize the text and translate it immediately in English. So it's already detected, so he doesn't know that it's the German language here, he just recognizes it by his own. And also, you can uh, screen the text here and uh, go on text, and he will automatically uh, put that text here also, and now you can export it so without worry. So if you have uh, maybe a letter, you can just copy it by your camera. You will recognize the letters and put it directly in text. And maybe it's like something like in German, like this book is. Uh, you can just go and translate and you will go automatically to the language you have set up before, to English. And now I have the, uh, the German language and the English language here below as well. So a very nice feature. And uh, of course you have also here uh, a QR code reader and uh, I say thanks for watching phones and more I hope you can see that so uh, thank you so so much for watching this video I hope I could help you with it and show you something new and uh, yeah maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up it would be very helpful for more videos so thank you so so much for and uh, yeah, I've created us some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me. It would be a pleasure to see you again and maybe until next time. Ciao!